Hello and welcome to this review of the latest Hornby Lord Nelson. This is the latest acquisition from the railway. I just thought I'd like to show it off a little bit. So this is just the outside of the box here. As you can see, it's marked up here with the Railway Museum because this engine is actually part of the National Railway Museum and the National Collection. And as you can see, it's also digital TCS sound. The model is already out of the box. Here it is. As you can see, it is already a very finely detailed PC kit. I thought I'd best do it now, quite quickly after I got it out of the box, because else it'll start being detailed and not really in a fit state really to be reviewed. So as you can see here at the tender, there is a nice removable coal load here. As you can see, so you can put your own real coal in there. It's a twin bogey mounted tender with some very nice detailing here lamp irons, footsteps already on there looking nice hopefully you can see up in there but the cab is also very finely detailed the speaker and the chip I believe are in the tender when you flip the loco over and have a look you can see it just under there and you can see the bottom of the speaker through the bottom of the tender. The Lord Nelsons originally were an upgrade from the um, King Arthur class. Just to allow boat trains of up to 500 tonnes to be pulled at an average speed of 55 miles an hour. Lord Nelson was the first one of the class. Another well-known fact about the Lord Nelson is, is if you look at it square on, it bears a very striking resemblance to the Royal Scots. That's because the original Royal Scots were based on these. Originally, they wanted to base the Royal Scots on the Castle class from the Great Western Railway. However, the Great Western weren't having that and didn't allow the drawings. They approached the Seven, who allowed them the drawings for the King Arthur's and therefore they base the Royal Scots on them. This is an, a modification by Oliver Bullied. He did some fiddling about the blast pipe, enlarged the chimney and therefore allowed the King Arthur's to steam quite freely after that modification because they were known for being a bit of poor steamers beforehand. So just move the loco now, try and get it in a position a little bit better so you can see into the cab and see some of the detail in there. Full heading and turning the loco completely around. That would probably murder everybody, they won't like that. But here you go. See the other side of it, obviously this side no speedo cable as the other side did. Have a speedo cable. There is some accessories for it like vacuum pipes, brake rigging and also front footsteps. Unfortunately my layout will not allow for the footsteps but it might just allow if there's any flex in the um, ejector pipes would allow for that or um, cylinder cog drains I believe. The, the model itself I'm new into DCC this is my first digital locomotive as you might have seen from my last little clip it of a layout update stroke progress report it's currently in the middle of being done up for DCC and this was the reason why I pre-ordered this when they first announced them I liked the look of it and I seen the samples and thought I've got to get one of these so I have and I think it make a very nice addition to the layout and I can't wait to have it up and running but for now, it will just sit in the box and wait for the layout to be at a point where it is ready to be used. And it's sort of a nice little fitting missing link for my Southern Steam Fleet. As you are aware, I've got rebuilt Merchant Navies up there, an unrebuilt one over there, and an unrebuilt West Country. I've got an N15 and Southern Olive Green. Haven't got a King Art, haven't got a Lord Nelson yet, but now I have. So hopefully, 
this will provide very nicely I can't really comment on its performance as like I've just mentioned haven't got any trains running at the minute I will edit this video a little bit hopefully and just provide some stills of it placed in parts of the layout for photographic purposes but other than that I hope you've enjoyed this small and quick little review please forgive me I am trying to get better at these and I will do a bit more homework in future reviews it's just picking it up and putting some videos up on the channel and trying to get a bit of attention for it and just get the people's general feel of how they like my approach so hopefully next month there'll be another big video coming up well I say big it'll be like either another model review or whatever or another layout update thank you very much for taking the time for watching this I hope you enjoyed it